This is Scott the Fix It Guy. Today we're going to be disassembling a Samsung oven and Samsung range. And I'm just pulling it out away from the wall. These should be able to easily slide in and out from how they're placed in the cabinet. And I'm going to reach back and unplug it to cut the power. May be good also to turn off the gas during the disassembly. There's a little gas valve back there. And we're now removing the back panel from the oven compartment so we can reach some of the components. So we have a couple of Phillips head screws here on the central compartment. And underneath there is the motor for the convection fan. So if you ever have to change that motor or clean it or check it, it's just easy to do because it's just sitting right behind this little panel. So there's our there's our fan motor. Now we're going to be removing some more of these perimeter screws so we can remove this panel. And this will allow us to get to some of the other oven components. You should be able to also find behind this panel uh, an envelope that has the tech sheet and that'll have some different tests you can do for diagnosis. Oh, that's okay. So we lift off that panel, and now we can see some of the components that can be tested. Over here to the left, that is the locking mechanism for when you do the self-clean to lock the oven door. Sometimes they get in the lock position and they won't open, and from here you can manipulate the lever to make the oven door open. And also we have the uh, compartment or the uh, part where you can change out the socket for the light socket. Up here in the t underneath the top panel, we'll remove a few more Phillips head screws. And then we have the oven clock or oven controller. And it has the relays for bake and the relays for broil and the relays for the convection. So if you're having trouble with those, it could be the controller, which is this, this circuit board we see underneath. These are only about $85 for this part. So pretty easy to get to all these components. I think this is where the text sheet was, is uh, in the upper compartment. Now we're going to do a uh, disassembly of the of the top panel. So we take all the grates off and we take all the burner heads off. And then just using a Phillips head screwdriver, we're going to spin out two Phillips head screws per burner head. I think this one in the middle had four. And once you get them all off, you can remove this upper drip pan uh, there's two clips in the front that you have to push in with a paint scraper. And then you can lift up and remove the whole drip pan. And that'll give you access to the uh, burner heads, the Venturis. Uh, also access to the controls for the stove. and the stove igniters. So the parts for the Samsung oven range are pretty cheap. They don't cost much. They unfortunately don't tend to last very long. So I'm gonna push in on those clips. 
get this drip pan off. Grab the paint scraper. So you'll be able to feel where that clip is and then just push in and lift up on the drip pan and then do it on the other side too. There we go, and lift that off. And here we can see a lot of the stove components are available to us, pretty easy to get to. And we have a thermal blanket separating the oven from the stove components. In the back, we have a, some ducting that brings some of the hot air out to the back of the oven. So you're going to take out the broiler pan, pull it out, lift up, and then in the back is the safety valve for the gas. If you're not getting any gas coming out of your oven or broiler, it could be a little switch on your uh, gas regulator, which is the one to the left, and you just got to make sure you pull that thing out towards you to open it up. It it's not a electrical switch, but it's a mechanical switch. And if it's straight, it's in line, it's letting gas flow. If it's turned at a right angle, it's preventing the gas flow. This is the model number. You may need to order parts. It's located on the frame behind the broiler pan. Go ahead and slide that back in. And now we're going to get to the oven igniter, the bake igniter. So we'll pull back on these two catches on the oven hinge. And then we're going to push the door in, and that'll start to release the hinge. And we're going to push in and lift up. And then use your legs maybe to help you. It's kind of heavy. Just get that off to the side. It makes it really easy to clean the oven or to put in a new bake igniter or a new broiler igniter. If you're not getting a bake function, it's usually due to a failed igniter. So we're taking out these racks. And then we have this little piece here we just lift right off and there's two Phillips head screws in the back we have to remove so we can get off the bottom panel. Uh yeah yeah I think so let's see Is it the broiler yeah same one the broiler ones usually work good because they don't get used very often <laughs> they don't wear out Oh, brother's not coming on either? Okay. Okay. You think the self-clean feature was ever used? There we go. We're going to lift up the panel. Those are really bad for ovens. The back by about yeah. 45 so degrees hot, and, and damaging just pull stuff. it out. And then we have a heat diffuser, which kind of makes the heat from the flame spread out more. We're going to remove that by pulling two Phillips head screws in the front. We're going to lift that thing up 45 degrees and pull it out. And then we have the Venturi tube right in front of us and the igniter. It's really easy to get to. So thanks so much for watching and please subscribe when you get a chance.